Business editor Richard Southern joins us this hour. Hey, Richard, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday to you. We're almost at the long weekend. Janelle, almost we? there. So, Richard, obviously we're hearing today about lots of businesses that are going to be able to open up next week. Restaurants weren't on the list, but McDonald's is getting ready to allow some customers back in some restaurants, and they're doing it in a very limited way. Yeah, it's only going to be, you know, a handful of restaurants. And it's not to dine in. As you say, that is not allowed in the province of Ontario. This is going to be for takeout. You know, McDonald's has only been operating over the past eight weeks via its drive through and via delivery. But as we say, a couple of stores now will let you go in to pick up your Big Mac and then you have to, you know, leave again. But it's going to look different. There's going to be plexiglass barriers between you and the cashier. There's going to be separate entrance and exit doors. And more. We caught up with one of the company's senior directors today to talk about it. You'll walk in, you'll see stickers on the floors or, or uh, decals on the floors that basically would space a guest, you know, six feet apart and helps them understand where to go, where to stand inside the restaurants. We encourage guests to use the kiosks for mobile ordering, but we also have our front counters available. And so as guests approach those front counters, once again, protective barriers between them and our crew. Now he tells me, Janela, they are going to be wiping down those uh, order screens. There's only one person allowed in the bathroom at a time. So, you know, they're making all sorts. You're going to see this at all sorts of businesses, right, as they start to slowly make these changes to get ready to open up or to partially open up. Things are going to look very different. Okay, so obviously you can order your McDonald's online. You can order lots of different things. Food delivery services have been booming during this pandemic. And we're getting a glimpse into what uh, people across the GTA are eating. This is kind of fascinating. Uber Eats told me today what the most ordered things were over the past two months during COVID-19 in Toronto. Butter chicken, really? topping the list, Janela. Huh, interesting. Kind of speaks to our city. And we're like, yeah, miso soup, number two, pad thai. There's naan bread, uh, bubble tea, fries, oh, jerk chicken. You hungry? Look at this. I'm starving. Uh, edamame <laughs> poutine. Janela, for Ontario on a whole, that's the GTA, for Ontario on a whole, the most ordered dish was uh, onion rings, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. I never thought onion rings would travel well. Fries and all, anything fried is not so great once it gets to your door. That is such an interesting list. And you're right, it really speaks to the, the you know, Toronto and the GTA. We love our diverse ethnic cuisines, and that's what we're missing when we're at home. We do, we but there's also a lot of comfort food on there, which we totally needed over the past couple of weeks, right? Yeah, absolutely. So for me, I'm like, oh, if I'm going to order something, it's pizza or, you know, <laughs> get a burger. But that's so interesting. Okay. Butter chicken sounds pretty good that's right now. That's delicious. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm going to have for dinner. <laughs> All right, the Toronto Zoo is, speaking of lots of different ways that things are changing, Toronto Zoo is considering a unique way of welcoming back its visitors once they'll be allowed through the front doors. They're going to let you drive through, stay in the car, Janella. Wow. Uh, pretty cool. So the idea, according to the zoo, is that you would drive right through the front gates and then drive along the existing walking paths to see all those you know, polar bears and animals and so forth. And, you know, the zoo, it's really hurting financially. Um, they have a lot of fixed costs, including the food bill for those mm -hmm. animals we're looking at. That food bill, Janela, totals $1 million per year. They got to pay that still. And they usually rely a lot on parking fees and entrance fees and so forth. So they're trying to raise some private money. But again, they're going to start maybe letting you drive through to have a look at the tigers and uh, all the fun things at the zoo. Just make sure you roll up your windows before that tiger yeah. gets to you, Janelle. <laughs> Is it going to be like African lion safari style where they just, you know, <laughs> come that? right up to the <laughs> Hey, Janelle, window. you and I are back just a little after 6.30. We're looking at how Vegas is preparing to open after COVID-19. All right. We'll chat then. Thanks, Richard. Thanks.